Just want to cut. Ricky and his son here. A bit of the uh, day in the life video. Just here in the new place in the city. So I've got the uh, kitchen a bit more set up, as you can see. Finally got some shelving here for my plates and cups. That's that's heaps. I won't need more than that. Plates. What have I got here? Back of the lathes. They, these things are alright, eh? You, you put them in the uh, little little water jug things. Uh, just a little battery powered device and you can pump water out of it. So just having my uh, morning oval team. We'll see what we get up to today here in uh, in the little city here. The morning oval team. So I got the little dining table now. Not bad, eh? Dog settled in alright. How you doing, boy? You like the little couch? We got a bit of uh, furniture to put together as well. So I got a little like uh, some shelving for these tissues. I got some shelving for the bathroom. And like a bit of a bookcase thing. That will go here, just some storage. And then this is like a little tower rack. So plenty of furniture to put together today. Really can't be bothered. I've got videos to cut. I want to make a bit of video for you guys as well. And just general what I'm going to get up to today. Living in the city, I'm enjoying it so far a lot. I'm really enjoying it. I was going to go see the babies today, but I've been a bit crook. I've been a bit crook. So I'm going to go see them tomorrow, I think. They still need their recovery as well before I bring them here. So I'll bring them here next week. Uh, for probably here for probably half the week and then half the week with grandmother. So and I know grandmother's been missing those babies too. So just give her a bit of extra time this week. But yeah, I'm definitely missing them. I'm miss definitely missing them a lot. It's been a couple of days since I've seen them. and. Uh, yeah, really can't wait to see their smiles again. But yeah, I'll go down there tomorrow and I'll vlog down as well. So that'll be a vlog me going back to the village, see what's going on and a bit of an update on the house. Wonder how the house is looking. So watch out for that vlog. Don't know if you can see that, but yeah, just like to sit here, enjoy my cuppa, maybe a bit of Thai donuts or something. Just watch a bit of YouTube. I'm always watching Thai YouTube, I love it, mate. Just taking the uh, recycling down to the little bin here. Thought I'd chuck out the old Xbox box too. So I'm gonna pop that on top and I wonder uh, how many people are gonna stop by and just double check there isn't an Xbox in there. So, uh, a bit of a tease, isn't it? But uh, why not? The bin's just up, at, just up here. There's also a prison in here, I had no idea. I'm living right near a prison. Uh, sort of a little car wash and I did a bit of an investigation and five, five meter high wall with uh, barbed wire inside. So. Uh, See if I can get the car washed down in the prison one day. Which one's a recycle bin? Doesn't look like recycling, but oh well. Leave the Xbox on top. And uh, we'll probably have about 16 people stop by on the motorbike just to check there's no Xbox inside. <laughs> Looking a bit smoggy today. Air quality is not fantastic. You waiting for me, mate? Morning walk with Lou. Um, bloke's grown up in a village. This street's alright, there's not a lot of traffic, but he just wants to walk in the middle of the road everywhere we go. I'm trying to get him to walk on the sides like me, but uh, yeah, I guess he's grown up in a village, he's used to walking in the road. Got a little soccer club here, I don't know if they play competitive or not, but it's just like a junior soccer club where kids come and play soccer, I guess. Um, it's football, not soccer. Oh, excuse me. Okay, that's awesome if I'm still living in the area for Lily and Daisy, get him into some. Uh, you know some sports, women's sports is going off. Uh, you have the two twins playing for the Socceroos, what do you reckon later on? Or the Matildas, whatever they're called. They play some sort of game over here, like, uh, I don't know, a mixture between lawn bowls and golf, I'd say. Should get here in the afternoon when they're all playing it, but it gets quite busy in the afternoon. See what the old fellas over there. So maybe it's a bit of an early morning thing, sunrise thing as well, but quite interesting. And then there's just dogs everywhere. Like it sort of just turns into a dog park in the afternoon. So it's just dogs, like big dogs, huskies and everything running around here. Can't bring this fella. He's uh, he's all right with the odd stray, but when there's just too many dogs, I think he gets a bit stressed, a bit protective. He thinks he's much, uh, thinks he's much stronger than he actually is, but bloody brilliant little park. Check out the, uh, the gardening work over here. What well, we got reindeers or dinosaurs or something? They got a bit of a fascination with dinosaurs in Thailand, don't they? This one's definitely an elephant. It's pretty cool. I think, bit, I think they're more nervous about him. See? My friends.
I don't know what it is, but every time I see these windmills, I just have the hugest urge to just climb this thing. You got the ladder right here. Just climb it. I don't know what I'm gonna do once I get up there, but <laughs> I just wanna climb it. <laughs> There's the little bathroom shower for sword. It is like the tower rack. Um, really not looking forward to doing this one. Look at the instruction sheet. It is, geez, there's a lot of parts, a lot of pieces. Too complex, but I've got to get it done, I guess. Just gonna head down now. There's a little affordable uh, Thai steak restaurant just down the road. About a five minute bicycle ride, so I'll just ride the bicycle down. Go grab a steak. I think they got a bit of mashed potato too. I love my mashed potato. Maybe get a bit of french fries and we'll see what the price is, you know. It's a pretty, pretty, good, pretty good meal and um, I think the price will surprise you guys. And I might go for a little ride just through the city. Have a look what's going on around this little city I'm living in and maybe we'll stop at a cafe, eh? Yeah? All right, Lou, heading off, mate. You take care of the house, yeah? steak restaurant in town it's quite quiet right now usually I come here for dinner and it's packed so here's the uh, selection fish and chips pork chops I've gone with the uh, pork ham steak 70 baht you get a little bread you get a little french fries you get some veggies not bad as well they've got uh, like German sausages and stuff too it's not a bad little find out here mashed potato 20 baht grab myself a, uh, a coke as well of course let's we'll see how the food is Alrighty, not bad here. Love these little uh, pork chop steaks. Reminds me of Freddy's having Oz. Little uh, bit of toast, I don't know what. Supposed to be like a garlic bread, a couple of chips, your veggies, your gravy, a bit of potato and gravy here. Not bad at all. So it's a good little meal all up, 105 baht. So I'm just gonna head down the road into the city here, just across the road from the Toyota. And uh, we'll, go, we'll go find a place to get a get a Thai tea or something, have a look what's going on in this little city, eh? Chinese New Year stuff up sometime this month, eh? Get pretty huge roundabout. Cha Tai Yen, 50 baht, so that's quite expensive, but I did get it from uh, Cafe Amazon Corporation. So yeah, just in the heart of the city now, pretty much. Uh, literally five minutes away from where I'm living. Yeah, it's just endless businesses, endless stuff around, endless places to eat, so yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I'm enjoying it so far, I'm enjoying the move and the hustle and the bustle, but it's still nowhere near as big as some of those big cities like Korat or uh, Bangkok, obviously. now on the porch it's stinking hot uh paid a bit overs for that uh thai tea 50 baht but you can really you can get stuff for 20 25 baht in the area but i thought let's just try it out anyway i didn't know how much it was going to be and then uh, i mean the steak the steak mashed potatoes and coke for 105 baht you can't go wrong with that what do you reckon lou can't go wrong with that that's absolute value so uh it's just good to have different a different variety there's a, there's a little kapow shop already in town that i'm already eating at and it's quite good but I'll just shut today for whatever reason, so I thought, let's, let's try out the local steak shop just down here, see what it's like, eh? But yeah, just with Grab, as you can probably hear all the motorbikes going past, with Grab delivery, and it's so affordable. Um, you get stuff to lose for 50, 60 baht a meal. Um, I mean, why not? It's just so convenient, and people living in Bangkok and that, you know, that they're really, uh, they're, they're really enjoying this sort of thing, aren't they? This is all new for me. So that's it for today's vlog. Watch out for the next vlog where I go to see how the babies are going back in the village, and we'll uh, stop by some of the familiar places. As always, thanks for watching.